Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of our word preparation um, series. Um, in order not to waste time, I'll quickly start the exercise file which I've already opened on my system. If you if you don't have yours, please do all to open it. So we'll be concentrating on the paragraph group. So let's see if we can apply uh, some of the skills we acquired in the previous videos. I don't want the format of this. So what I'll do is I'll select the entire paragraph by triple clicking within the paragraph one, two, three. And selecting clear or formatting. Good. So once that is done, let's see how best we can use the tools available to us within the paragraph group. So we've got so many ways of doing that. So for example, I type um, this in there. That's my name. Then I want this centered. And most users would prefer using the space bar trying to center it, which is a waste of time. So we have align left, align center. So currently it's been align left. If you want it to move to the center, you click, it moves. If you want it to be aligned to the right, it's this way. Then we also have justify, where you distribute your text evenly between the margins. So looking at the nature of our paragraph, it has not been distributed evenly within the left and right margins. So once I'm within the paragraph, I click on justify, and this is what you get. So most of us in the tertiary institutions, whenever you, you, you do an assignment or you're working on a project or your thesis or any dissertation, you are required to justify the text. So this is how it's done. And I know most of our university um, students or tertiary institution students um, do a double spacing where they click on this particular button, then you select 2.0 for double spacing, 2.5, 3.0. Then you have line spacing options, which we will discuss when we execute the dialog box launcher. Then you can also talk about add space before and remove space after. So if you look at what I have here, just down here, that is um, the last word of the first paragraph, which is theme, and the first word, which is when, of the second paragraph, once I say remove space after paragraph, that particular space there will be removed. So it looks like uh, the second paragraph being part of the first paragraph, which is not so. So you can play around with removing spaces, adding spaces, and making it 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, depending on your preference. So that is that for um, line spacing options. Then we also have um, applying some sort of shading to your paragraph. So in the newspapers, you want to catch the attention of your readers of a particular block of text. That is what they do. They try to apply some sort of shading to it. So assuming I do something like this, okay, I apply this particular color that blue text to light up 60%. So once I do that, I want to make it a bit more dramatic by going to applying what borders. So I can you can apply a bottom border, a top border, a left, a right, um, all borders, outside borders. So it is how you format your paragraphs. Then there is this particular feature I love to use a lot. So I go to borders and shading, it opens up the borders and shading dialog box. So in your own free time, try to explore. So I'll use shadow and use a particular line style and even apply a particular color, something like red. Then this is the preview. So once I click on apply to paragraph, it will be applied to the entire paragraph. You can look at other options where you apply to a text. So you can try that on your own. You can click on options to see what is there. Just play around with it. 
and see what happens then i'll click on ok so once i do that this is apply and it looks beautiful doesn't it uh -huh. so this is how you play around with um, some of the tools under the um, paragraph um, within the paragraph group which is under the home tab then we can also talk about um sorting of text so i'm going to hit enter to create another paragraph so i'm going to the market i need to get some items let's say onion onion um cabbage carrot um uh, banana banana what else do i need apple so after typing this and i realize i need to arrange this in alphabetical order so once i did this by using the enter key which is a paragraph creating paragraph for each particular line of text all i do is to select and come to the sort button which is a to z with an arrow pointing downwards once you click on it you are sorting by paragraphs because we use what the enter key then are you arranging it in ascending or descending a to z or z to a so the type is what text then i'll say ascending then i click on what okay once i do that it is arranged in alphabetical order for me if i want to do it in descending order i click it is done in descending order so this is how you arrange um, a list of items either in ascending or descending order good then we also have um, a way of increasing the indent trying to move this text away from the margin so we have decrease indent then we have increase what's indent so move your paragraph further away so once i do that then it moves if you want to decrease it it comes back so this is how it works then we also can talk about um, bullets and numbering and even multi-level list but with the multi-level list once we apply a bullet or a numbered list we can use the tab key on our keyboard for that multi-level list so when you click it applies the default bullet which is like this so if you don't know how to, how to apply bullet and numbering this is how you go about it and this can be accessed in the Microsoft exam. So just know where to find it. It's all about navigation, knowing where to find what. If you don't like the default bullet, you can click on a drop down. Then you get a list of it, a list of them. So once you get a list, you don't like any of these, you can come here and define new bullets. So you can use a symbol, you can use a picture, or you can even use a font. So depending on what you want, just click on it if it's a symbol you click it opens up for you to select the symbol that you need for the particular exercise if you don't like symbol you can go ahead and use the picture so you can go through this list and select any symbol of your choice so this is how you get there if it's a picture you want as your bullet if you have internet you can go online to look for a picture if you don't have you can work offline and browse to the location where the picture is but i don't want to use that i'm just um, letting you know where to find it and you can explore the fonts as well then if it's about numbering you can come here and select any numbering style so for example if i select one then we have to talk about multi-level list then if there are certain point and the onion i can hit on enter it changes to one two three but because it's a multi-level list there is a point under the onion once that my insertion point is blinking i hit on tab then another level is created so cassava like that okay so i got a spelling wrong i right click then i get a correct spelling I hit on enter so all of these points are under onion so what if there's another point on the cassava you just hit on tab then a multi-level list is created
created like that. So this is how you create multi-level list with the tools available. Then let's talk about the dialog box launcher for our paragraph group. So I'll quickly double click, triple click to select my entire paragraph. Then I come to the dialog box launcher. So we have these tools, indent and spacing. So we have justified, left, centered, right. We saw all of that here. The outline level is a body text level one, level two. We talk about it when we look at the various types of view under the view tab where we go into outline view. Then we can have the left and right indent. The indentation we saw earlier was only moving it from the left, but you can try to indent it in both ways from your right and from your left. And this is my ruler. So I want two centimeters here. I type two. I want it to be indented from the right as well by two centimeters. Then we also have, so you can see a preview here. Then we can also have special. So first line where we indent the first line, this goes in. Uh, we can do a hanging where you can see the preview. So the first line is there, then this moves in. And you can even use them um, by a particular centimeters. If you don't see centimeters, yours will probably probably be in inches. Good. So try to play around with it. Then we have before and after. So before spacing, after. So there is after about 10 points. If you don't want it, you can just remove it and make it zero. So once I do that, then we have what? Line spacing multiple. So you can pick exactly at least double 1.5 and single so in the Microsoft exam they can ask you to apply a line spacing of at least then they give you the point so if it is at least in a point you will not find the tool here you will need to go execute the dialog box launcher for the paragraph group but because it's about paragraphs that's why we are going to the paragraph groups so that is that for this particular exercise so at least 12 points i've selected a hanging then I'll click on what OK. Then this is what you get. Then we also let's talk about another feature where you try to use the tabs. So click on it. Then I select tabs. So if you look at my ruler, anytime I click on the tab from where the insertion point is, it should stop at let's say nine centimeters. So tab stop, I'll select nine. Then I want a tab leader, which is this or that. Then I'll click on set, then I'll click on OK. So when you are listing, um, let's say some items and its prices, normally what people do is they type the item like, like something like this, and then they use the dot on the keyboard to be creating that, which is so, so wrong. Set your tab stops. So once you hit on tab, followed by the leader, you type the price. I hit on the tab. I type the price. So when you do that, it's more or less aligns everything in a straight order. So if you don't want the tab stops, you can just come in here where the tab stop is. You click on it. You move it into the document. It's deactivated. Pressing the tab won't give you that. So these are some of the many features and functions under the home tab within the paragraph group you can explore then we also have the line and page breaks so you have we do an often control keep with text keep lines together page break before so this is about pagination so how do you work that out so i'm going to go through to okay most of my paragraphs are all in line so try to explore that these options and now let's see how it works for you so thank you very much for the time and as always you can reach out to me on zero five four nine nine zero one one nine zero so i will increase it and also read about the microsoft office specialist by going to our parent company's website in the US of A, certiport.com forward slash MOS, 
you can also reach out to us on Facebook by using this URL facebook.com forward slash facetiport there's a bit too much yeah and then I think that will be all you can connect with me on Facebook by searching for me I become friends we get interactive we see how best we can improve our IT skill sets so it's all about certifying Ghana with internationally recognized certifications from CertiPort. You just have to put yourself on the global market. Don't limit yourself to Ghana. Try to get a required IT skills so that when you go outside of Ghana, you'll be able to compete on the same level with the unemployed within um, the country you are going to. And trust me, Word, Excel, or the Microsoft Office scale set is just like English, math, and science. Whether you are into IT or not, you will need to up your game. Thank you very much. Do enjoy the rest of your day.